hi everybody welcome back to my little snippet video i have uh, just had a lovely two days in brisbane with the queensland quilters hello uh desley and hello kim it was so nice to have repeat offenders in the w this workshop um it's good to see and comforting to see familiar faces when you do workshops you know um yeah so very quickly i'm just going to give you a quick update of the hexagon one because i've done a little bit of work on it and i you know i was just sitting there the other day sewing and i didn't really want to you know turn the video on so i thought oh these are just you know easy things to do so all right so what i've done is i'm still working with the the starter pack that some of you bought and i added the even song blue to that and so you can see i've I've got five flowers and then I added some little buds with lazy daisies and straight stitches and some twisted chain and it, you know it's really weird because this has um, turned out to be quite um, glamorous and there's nothing you know I like to put a little bit of something unfortunate in my work you know something that's not as pretty and you know I, I like a little bit of unfortunateness I don't think that's a word but anyway so there you go. Um, you can see that if I take away the horrible white, if all you're going to see is actually this. So there you go. You know, as I said, it's very, very pretty for me. Um, but that's how it's turned out. I'm then going to work on the back. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I, uh, you know, I, I'm just going to let that come to me when the time comes. Uh, my neighbor's playing some very loud music. I'm just going to do a little bit of stitching as I prep my day, get ready for my day. It's been rainy here. My little uh, daily stitching project. Yeah. You know, this, this weekend really got me thinking about YouTube and versus my class uh, you know when I teach a workshop it's so lovely I you know you interact with each other and you I see people's work evolving and in, you know in front of me and we share I don't know we share stitches and we share laughter and whatever else and I must be very honest YouTube doesn't really uh, you know give that to me uh, uh, I don't know how to describe it and I don't really know if um, YouTube is the correct um, platform for me. There's lots about YouTube that I like. But there's other things that I'm thinking, oh, you know, do I? Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's a weird thing for me with YouTube. I suppose I'm still new to it. And I will get used to what happens to the things you share on, you, you know, YouTube. What happens to that um, yeah so you know it's, it's it's got me thinking and when i was swimming in the sea today i thought oh I, I need to i need to think about this and decide oh what i want to do and so i'm in a flux people i'm in a flux you know i'm in a flux yeah but anyway it'll work out it'll work out i'll sort myself out the book is at a quite an exciting stage we've done all our proofreading and it soon will go to the printers uh, but that, that in itself is such a nerve-wracking oh putting a new book out oh it's so nerve-wracking yes quite exciting my daughter is a a screenwriter and she wrote a show for Paramount Plus called Paper Dolls and that's going to be launched on the 3rd of December so that's a proud moment proud mom well done button sorry her name is actually Ainsley but I call her button she's 34 and I still call her button how weird is that anyway so we we'll all be looking forward to her show that she created and wrote all very exciting <laughs> yes uh, there's a short little video of the workshop that I did in Queensland Quilters I'm not sure that I put it on landscape so it might not be the greatest video in the whole world but 
you might get an idea of the workshop that I did and how everybody's work was so different. Um, it was really good. I, as, as, as you know, I like everybody's work to be theirs and not a, a mimic, mimicry of mine is another word. I'm not sure if it's real. Yes. We had some beautiful, beautiful rain the other day. That's, that's a bit of an ugly one. Shall I leave it in? Hell no. You're going to have to come out, lovey. I'll start you again. She was also a bit splayed and that was very unfortunate. Yes, come on. Do the right thing. Oh, the resident lizard I haven't seen in quite a while. So I don't know if he's gone or what well, looks exactly the same as it was just now. So it's just going to have to stay. Just going to have to stay. I was thinking about my cataract surgery. Yes, let me get it out the way. And I was thinking, you know, I cannot swim for eight weeks. And it is going to be in February. So February in Queensland is... So I'm talking about the sea, I think. Um, but anyway, we have a pool, but um, I think I care... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, so I was thinking about me swimming in the sea. And yes, it is going to be the height of our summer in Queensland and it gets poop hot here in Queensland but I thought I've got to find the silver lining and I thought well I, I really 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 like swimming in the winter so it's not going to be so much of a hardship for me because by the time I can swim and it's going to be cooler and the water will be cooler I prefer cold water it never gets terribly cold here in Queensland anyway even the water so when I dive into the pool or the sea I like it to take my breath away I like me I like oh, you know when you go like that it's how cold I like the water to be to be feel refreshing hmm. I'm not sure that this color is the correct um, color for this project but you know it was on hand and I saw it and I thought oh that looks fresh you know what, I was thinking about colour the other day and my, I looked at my colour palette and I thought, oh, you know, something doesn't look right. The easiest way to freshen up a colour palette is to freshen up your greens. Because, you know, you can never have enough greens in, if you're a quilter and you're quilting, you know, in your fabrics and also in your embroidery threads, you can never have enough greens. And I looked at my, my you know, and I don't really like to spend, you know, money if I don't have to, because I like to use what I have. And then I realized it was actually my greens that I was, that were a problem, not necessarily my colors. And so I gathered a whole lot of greens and you know, added them to my stash and then I didn't I thought to myself I wonder if some of you also might be having the same problem with your color palette so I made up a little um, green pack oh Jennifer don't do that you're using your elbow come on focus so I made up a little green pack, just of greens, different shades of greens, I'll show you now. And that might, you know, as I said, once I freshened up my green, I looked at all my colors in a totally um, different light. So I'll show you that just now. All oh, the birds. There's a little miners, I think. There you go. Oh, sorry, just frightened one away. It landed ne quite near me. Okay. Anyway, getting back to the workshop. So there were 12 ladies. I like to keep my classes small. And so I knew some people who had come back again to see me. And uh, we were working on men's suiting. And everybody 
really oh, it made my heart sing. Everybody's work was divine and we laughed and it was really good. It was a very nice um, time spent with lovely ladies. Lovely ladies indeed. And then I've got a few more classes uh, at Kim's and at my home and then that is it. Yeah. And I can maybe think about getting ready for Christmas. And I've got to make a little Christmas stocking for my my latest granddaughter called Ali. So all of the all of the Christmas stockings had some form of Australian animal on them with some kind of festive thing. So there is a koala, a cockatoo. Oh, what's the other one? Uh, so I can't remember what the other one is. So this time I think I might do a little echidna for my, as I said, my youngest granddaughter. Her name is Ali. Hmm. So um, that's going to be my next job. I might actually work with it as part of my daily stitching. I don't know. Yes. It's raining here, as I said, and I, I, where I live, I kind of back onto a creek. So that's where all the beautiful birds come from. And there's, there's a, the trees are really gorgeous. And when it rains, I love to go walking in there. I'll put some photographs up at the end as well. So when it was raining, all the, the leaves, the raindrops make a totally different sound when they fall through trees as opposed to just plonking down. There you go. I think this color is going to be okay. I think it's it's freshened it up. All that was wool. Remember that was my little pack that I found at an op shop. But um, yeah. So there you go. How's that? Actually, that's really that's really livened it up, hasn't it? Yep. And I'll I'll put some over there. Now, you know, Corrine had uh, the, I don't know, the, she's like a, I don't know, the energy levels or whatever. And she uses a little thing like this. So I'm going to copy her. So there's the information for where you have to email us. And then we'll email you a uh, PayPal invoice. So that starter pack. And then, oh, the evergreen pack. You want to have a look at the evergreen pack. That's $70. And in there, oh, what do you get? What do you get? Um all beautiful let me get my card out the way so once again our color streams there they are um, and the evergreen they are three four millimeter silk ribbons two two millimeter silk ribbons three rana and two packets of sequins so there are nine threads and two sequins in there there you go and that's the information if you would like some so with that on 13 minutes here is that in case you need to do another screenshot or whatever you do for that remember that this folds here at this point so i don't know if you are going to go past that or not yeah look mine went very very whew. There's not an unfortunate stitch in there. Well, there are, but, you know, not anything quirky. So with that, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks for your time again. Bye that for now. Is the evergreen pack. You see it goes well. My favorite colors. My greens that I use all the time. Wonderful little sequins to complement everything. It, it works well with your um, starter pack. And so that's what it is, peeps. And here... Here is the information. Isn't it? Look at that. Oh. Wow, 
think we should ha hold our work or not?